and in this lesson we are coming to make some few chord changes to the song itself i broke down the simplest way of playing the song in the standard version okay so if you like you can take a look at it or you can give it a try so but over here we are coming to fill it with more chords okay to make it sound more advanced and more heavier than the standard version so let's get started Okay, so so you realize that there is a whole lot of uh, uh, chord changes going on compared to the standard version, right? Yeah. So let's take a look at it. So there was soon now is is still on the one or on the do so and we are in the key of C okay then we go to the five we all know this to the original five so five over one to the five root chord to the, and then before the also now we yeah, can see look at what I did over here this is a passing chord to the also now we yeah, can see so This is an E augmented seven sharp nine chord. So on my left, I have the E and the D, okay, or the Mi and the Re. And on my right, I have an A flat, C, D, and E. Sorry, A flat, C, D, and G, okay. So. come there immediately even before the singer sings the next part which is the also now we can see so i play this chord before even the singer starts so i play this chord and i get myself ready for the next part okay then the also now i i decided to follow the singer with the melody okay, and then the melody on that part the, and then the melody at that part is on the g right so this is basically a, a do over a la or on my right I have the do chord right but you are very you can see that I'm playing two inversions together the second inversion and the root chord and on my left I just have the la notes or the E okay so uh and on from the la you come to the re now look at the chord I'm playing on my way. The D dominant ninth chord, right? So on my left I have the, the D or the Re and then the Do. And on my right I have the Mi, Fi, La, Do. Okay, Mi, Fi, La, Do. So to the five. Okay, so if you combine everything together, it will be it will go like uh, Then I did a very nice movement at the hand and pull now part. Okay, so uh, so 
So for the hinge and pointer part, I decided to assign a chord to each lyric or each word. So the hinge, we all, <laughs> it's very funny, the hinge. So we, all, we already know this chord. That's on the hinge. And then the na, okay, on the na, I have a T or seven. And I have an ace or two on my right hand. And I'm just a seven, okay? So, okay. So I have an A, a flat diminished on my right hand over the B. Okay, so, now to the La. Now, this is the second inversion of the La, right? Let's, let's take it from there. We'll soon now we are KC, so like to be like then to the so we have our diminished chord, which is what a C sharp diminished seventh chord. To take it further, I can do this. Okay, so try if you can add the the la over here to it. Okay, otherwise just do this. This is very very nice. So then to our re our our our, our, our second impression re. Here you can go to the one to the seven, or you can go, you can move from the two to the six to the seven. Okay, so you can do uh, re do t or re la t, which is two one seven or two six seven. So, but I prefer the I prefer the re la t or, or two six seven. It, it changes the environment a little, okay? So now I do, now I have um, a G source 2, or my B, okay, so, so the whole song, so uh, Mi Fa So, this is a Mi Fa So that I believe every advanced player knows so. So look at what I did here. On the now here, can see so now here. So I, I, I from me far so I quickly jump to the re and the only the, the only change I, I perform on my right hand is just to take my, my thumb from the G to the F sharp or the G flat, so I just flatten the G. That's all. Okay, so then I come to the five again. Okay, and this is a G dominant seven chord. Okay, to the one. So this is how it will be like. This is pretty much the whole song. If I should start from the beginning, it should be like. activity would, 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 would depend on you and the singer or mostly on the singer the number of times the singer will sing the number of times the singer will choose to repeat a certain part of the song you just have to follow okay so learn this and go out there and minister to god's people okay and we will surely meet in the next lesson god bless you okay.